This video explains how to create the stacked clustered column chart in Microsoft Excel. It shows the number of employees by department and location. The stacked columns or bars compare the number who work full time with the number who work part time. So we have three categories of data, department, location, and type. The focus of this video will be how to display totals above each bar, insert a gap, this extra space between the departments, customize the axis labels to include the total number for each department, and add final formatting to give the chart a professional appearance. Let's go to Excel and begin. This is the data we will use to create the chart. It is already in the correct format. Each main category label is printed once in the table. That way, each one appears once in the chart. Then the three subcategories for each department. The columns of numbers appear as stacked columns on the chart, and these also appear in the legend full-time, part-time. There is a total column so that we can show the totals above each bar. To create the chart, let's select all the data. On the insert ribbon in the chart area, if you hover the mouse over a stacked column, the preview shows the totals appear in the stacked bar, which is not what we want. So let's click on Recommended Charts, All Charts, and go to the Combo Chart. Display each data series as a stacked column. I have two data series, full-time and part-time. Display the total as a line. This is close to the structure we want with the main category, subcategory, and the columns full-time and part-time are the stacked bars. The totals are drawn as a line and show up in the legend. Let's change that. Select the line, click the plus sign next to the chart, data labels above. Then right mouse click on the line, select Format Data Series so that the right hand panel appears. Go to Fill and Line, No Line. Click on the legend once, click again only on the word total, and press Delete. I think it's nice when the legend is stacked in the same order as the bars, so let's move it to the right, and then I'm going to manually drag it to the top. We are now on step two. I want to put extra space between each cluster, but when I right click on a bar, format data series, the series overlap does not help. It needs to remain 100%. Adjusting the gap width, this affects the space between columns, but not between the main clusters. The only solution I know is to add extra rows in the data table. If I want extra space in the chart between administration, and customer service, then I will go to the data source, click on the row for customer service, and insert a new row above it. As you can see, the label administration is off center. I will add more text so we can see that better. Because Excel thinks I want to add a new subcategory under administration, but we want the space to be a separate main category. So let's delete this label and try entering a main category label. In the first column, I will enter some text. This looks better. Since we do not want this label to show up back in the table, let's replace it with a couple of spaces. I am just pressing the space bar two times. And now in the chart, there is some extra space between the first two departments. I will highlight the cell so I remember where it is and insert a new row above each main category. Now copy this highlighted cell that contains the two spaces to each new row. I am actually going to leave these cells highlighted and put a note at the top to remind myself why these extra rows are here. On the horizontal axis, we can remove all these vertical lines. Right mouse click on the axis, Format Axis. In the right hand panel on the last tab, Axis Options, under Tick Marks, change the interval between marks to a higher number, like 50. I will also readjust the gap width between the bars to around 38%. 
we are making good progress. On to step number three. If we look at the original chart, which is our goal, the axis has the categories in all capital letters with a total on the next line. We can accomplish this by writing a formula in the data table. I am going to make a copy of the first column that we can use in the formula. So this column is not part of the chart. If I click on the chart, you can see it is not part of the highlighting. And we will write the formula here. I want the labels in all capital letters, so I will type the equal sign, upper, open parenthesis, click on the department name in this column, close parenthesis. Now I want to add a line break in the total. Let's go to the formula bar. I had to research how to add a line break. I found an answer posted on the Microsoft Community site to use the char function. So back in the formula, add the ampersand char open parentheses, and then type in the number 10, close parentheses. Another ampersand, sum, and select the numbers I want to total. Notice that on the chart there is now a line break between the category name and the total. When you use the line break in a formula, if wrap text is selected, you will see the line break in the cell, otherwise you will not. But either way, the line break will still appear in the chart. Let's copy this formula to the other categories. Now let's give our chart a more professional appearance. I always begin formatting by selecting the entire chart and change all the text to the font color black so that it is easier to read. Change the bar colors, right mouse click on a bar, format data series, and on fill in line we can customize colors and patterns. I think I will try a pattern. This is horizontal stripes dark. I guess we can make the grid lines blue. Adding transparency to make them lighter. Add a title. and then just make some of the text larger. The horizontal axis bold. And the vertical axis italics. We now have a professional looking stacked clustered column chart showing numeric data by three categories, department, location, and type. This style of chart is useful when you want to look for patterns and make comparisons. For example, these two departments have the highest number of employees who work remote, but in the sales department, most of the remote workers are employed part-time compared to technology, where most of their remote workers are full-time. I hope this video was helpful. If you are interested, there is a link to this workbook in the description.